from your experience, what are the main things that you treat with gua sha that gua sha is like so um, effective for? Obviously, number one would be pain, right? Chronic pain. Um, I probably don't do it for acute pain, like not for fractures, not at the site. So that's like a no-no. But I would go above and below things that you know might be good for. I've used it for TMJ. So that's jaw pain. Jaw, jaw pain disorders. I used mm. it for sleep. That's a big one. People don't think about that, but um, it. But typically, it's not because they're like when I when I have a patient, their main complaint was like, "Oh my gosh, I have insomnia." I'm like, you know what? Like, it's it's usually because like they they're so focused on their pain, they don't think about their sleep. But if you're in pain and you can't sleep, that's a problem, right? Why gua sha is so awesome because it helps rejuvenate you. It's almost like kind of like a detox, but you do need to rest after. So a lot of the big benefits are like sleep. And for those who are in pain and, you know, got insomnia, it actually helped fix their Mm -hmm. sleeping patterns as well. So I guess I can add to the list insomnia, right? Sleeping, sleep issues. Um, it could also help with allergies. So those who have like seasonal allergies or if they have and within that, like people who have like asthma because they already have a hard time breathing and they have um, like, obviously I can't change their, like their um, triggers, right? If it's like dust or something or whatever, but you can at least teach them how to like open up their chest. And when they see me, it's like, I can help nourish their lungs from doing gua sha. When you're doing gua sha, just just to add like at a physiological standpoint, especially on the back, there are nerves that shoot out from the spinal cord. And the spinal cord is encased by our spine, the vertebrae, right? The spinal, the spinal column. So those nerves connect to our internal mm-hmm. organs in general. So for a lot of people, like those who um you know, are are big drinkers or, you know, they eat a lot of processed foods, it can help improve their digestive system. And it can help improve and their liver function as on well. the back near the spine. Yeah, yeah, because if I'll yeah. send you a picture later, but basically nerves come out of this one big right. spinal cord and they they connect to our internal organs. So now you're not only treating muscle tension, you're getting, you're getting so much benefit from treating all your organs because it's so mm, restorative. That makes so much sense. That's why it's most commonly used on the back because you're kind of hitting so many things at once. Exactly. Exactly. And of course, you can use this on your IT band. You can use it on your leg. You can use it on your calf, especially those oh, um, foot pain, plantar fasciitis, right? People commonly think it's an inflammation. That's what, that's how it's named. Fasci- anything that's itis is inflammation. But actually, mo- majority of foot pain, when they're diagnosed as plantar fasciitis, it actually means there's a lack of blood flow to that area of the inside arch of the foot. So I've used it for, I use gua sha in that area of the foot, but also above because there's certain arteries that lead and nourish that area to the arch of the foot. So I'm helping improve the blood flow to to the arch of the foot so people don't have pain in their in their um feet. That's actually my latest favorite area to treat with gua sha is to do my gua sha my feet and kind of my lower leg before I sleep cuz like the foot is also in reflexology it's like connected to everything right in your body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see those charts and you're like, I'm just going to hit it all. <laughs> I'm like, this is easy. Let me just do it here. Um, but, you know, when you travel, I, I went to Asia, you know, you're walking every day, like 20 steps, 20,000 steps a day or something. So I, I noticed that when I gua sha my feet after like a whole day of walking, it doesn't hurt the next day. Normally your feet get sore after work, you know, if you go to Disneyland or something like that. Exactly. What what made you um, start doing that? Was there something that you watched or? I did watch like a foot <laughs> and leg gua sha tutorial, but I actually, I have like on my left foot, like a bunion sort of thing. A bunion. So it's like, there's a point of pain that, and I've seen like a orthopedic doctor about it where like, the bone is growing a different way. So at some point, like it did hurt like one point of my foot. And so I started doing gua sha to see if it would help. And now the pain has like gone away from gua sha. So 
So that's amazing. Yeah. Like I, yeah. something's working, like something's healing there. So I, I, and I noticed when I stopped Absolutely. doing Gua Sha, the pain would come back. So I would, you know, whenever the pain comes back, I just right. do Gua Sha to like treat it. <laughs> Hey, yeah. you're so smart you already know right <laughs> like because you know things like bunions and stuff like that's it's um for those who are listening like that's a structural change right that's not necessarily going to it's very hard to reverse it like most of the time depending on the severity if it's really impacting your life um surgery is usually the the last option right but I, I don't, you know what? I don't think we talk enough about exactly. foot health. Like, oh my God, this is we, a whole topic I could get into because I got so into foot health after this issue. Next podcast. <laughs>